Rejection sucks. And that's it. Please hang up and try again. So yeah, I just wanted to share something really quick, something that I kind of have been dealing with for the last, well, since Monday, so not very long, I guess. Uh, so for the last two years, I've been working on my Bachelor of Science in Psychology because I was hoping to go to a PhD program at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences for psychology become an Air Force psychologist, get commissioned, win the war, whatever. Um, and so I did 14 classes in two years while also working full time. I deployed for four months. It was a crazy two years. And I thought, okay, this is gonna be great. I had stellar references. Um, my GRE probably could have been a little bit stronger. And the big issue, and I knew this was a big issue, was that I didn't have research experience that um, was academic and tangible. I don't have any publishings. I don't have um, any posters or presentations that I could put out there. Um, and I was kind of hoping that my military experience, my intelligence background, um, might kind of carry me through it because I've been in the Air Force for 17 years now. Uh, I also don't really have any clinical experience, but I do work closely with wounded warriors, so I was hoping that that would kind of carry me through it. My big hope was that this year I would at least get called for an interview. And we called on Monday to find out when the interviews were going to be announced and found out that they had already gone out on Friday and that if I hadn't received uh, an invitation that that meant I probably wouldn't. And it was soul crushing. I know I, I should maintain a positive attitude and I tried to up until the day and I tried to be very realistic about it too. I, I, I was constantly telling people, you know, I understand. I, I, I may not I may not make it in. There are probably stronger candidates out there. Um, but I know me and I know that I'm the right person and this is the right path for me. So I was just kind of hoping above all hope that this was going to work out and that in, uh, in August, I would be living in Washington, D.C., going to college full-time uh, on my way to get my Ph.D., on my way to, you know, just, just to be who I wanted to be and do what I wanted to do. So when I found out that I had been rejected, rejected, uh, I, was, I was sad. I was very sad. I was incredibly disappointed and it, and, it, and it my optimism faltered. All I could think was what if this isn't the right path for me? What if I never make it? What if I can't get the experience that I need because I work full time. How do I get research experience? And usually instructors who are or professors who are going to pull in research assistants or work with students, you have to be a student at that school and I've already got my bachelor's. So how do I get the professors at UNO or UNL, University of Nebraska, Omaha or, or Lincoln to work with me? How do I convince them that I'm the right one and that they should put their time and effort into me? Or how do I find a research project that that I care about and that will work and that I can I can contribute to? I was scared and upset and devastated. And, and even besides that, my personal life, it has been on hold for two years while I focus all of my energy on trying to reach this goal that ma now feels like it could possibly be unattainable. Have I wasted two years of my life at 36 years old? Does this mean that, you know, I've, I've put my personal life on hold for too long or yeah, did I waste time? I don't think that's the case. But those are all the thoughts that are going through my head that were going through my head. And um, I had to take, I plan on taking a week. That was my goal was to just give myself a week to kind of grieve the loss of, of this opportunity this year because um, all of the all of the grad school applications have been accepted. Um, I can't apply again until 
uh, December. Uh, I think there are some early admissions uh, that I can apply for in October, but that's still a very long time. And that means that I wouldn't be starting for a very long time. I'm, I'm one year back from, from what, I what I had hoped would happen. And that is, once again, disappointing. And so I, I wanted to give myself some time to, to grieve the loss of this, this year, this opportunity. And I did. Um, I am not too proud to admit that I cried and that I let myself think all of those negative thoughts. Um, all of the, the things that I've been kind of trying to keep at bay, the positive attitude that I've been trying to maintain, I decided to just kind of wallow in it for a moment to to feel every every fear every disappointment every sadness every every amount every bit of anger i'm mad don't they realize how amazing i am no but that's just because they didn't give me an interview had they met me i could tell them although that might not work either but it would obviously shine through in my in my sparkling personality. Um, someday, it's gonna work out. I I I, it, I wallowed for a day. I was gonna give myself a week, but I wallowed for a day. And then, in true Amy fashion, I started to research, research, research every school that is local, every program that I could find, everything online, in person, every opportunity, certificates, masters programs all of it. And I think I found what I need to do. I have a one-year plan followed up by a two-year plan if I don't get accepted again. I am planning for what to do if I don't get accepted again. I found a psychologist that I can work with. I found a way that I can attend college in a way that will also allow me to get some research experience. So if they don't accept me again next year, well, that's on them. I've also found two other programs that I can apply to even though I'm not, um, even though I'm on active duty and it would be more difficult to do it f while I'm also working full time. Um, but I, I retire in 2020, so that's, that's okay too. I have a plan, it's a setback. I took two steps back, but I'm gonna take, you know, 15 steps forward. And that is all I can hope for. It, it was really sad. And those are rational emotions. I think prior to um, getting help and kind of rebuilding who I needed to be, I would have worried that my feelings were crazy or over emotional or too far. I was overwhelmed. I was over, over, over all of these negative thoughts about myself. You can't be upset. I mean, you knew that this was a possibility. I would have just kind of bottled, bottled it all up. Um, and now I, I understand this is, this is a rational emotion. It is okay to be disappointed, sad, angry, um, upset, all of the things that I'm feeling. All of these feelings are rational, but I feel better. I always feel better when I have a plan. And I think that's kind of what's helped me through this mental health process is, is seeking out. Uh, people who can help me and looking for plans and futures and kind of setting goals for myself. So I have plans and I have goals and whether they work, I don't know, but I have, you know, a second and third and fourth COA to go by or, you know, I have, I have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, all of the plans and someday somehow this is gonna work. Um, I especially want to give a shout out to all of my friends because everybody has been reaching out to me and made me feel really good. You guys have been so supportive and offered up so much help and so much encouragement and I have plans to go to brunch on Sunday and I'm so excited to see everybody and to kind of make it a we can do anything we put our minds to. It just might not happen the first time type of lunch. So that's the plan and like I said, I just wanted to, to really let you know that these emotions are rational and they are okay. So just talk to somebody, allow yourself to feel the way that, that you need to feel um, and it'll all work out in the end so long as you're being true to yourself and surround yourself with the people who care about you. Let them care about you.
thank you. Um, if you need me, I'm here. I care about you and I appreciate you dropping by. Subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up if you think I can do it. Uh, I'm not scared, but I, I wish that it was sooner. My patience is waning, but it's going to happen. Thank you.